So let's say you found a great video that you want to show your class. Um, you want to, you know how to embed it in into blended schools, but uh, the video starts with something like this. Greetings, students, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Zoller's Social Studies Podcast. Now today, catchy, but. Um, Quite annoying, actually. So instead, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you a way to cut out that first 13 seconds there to start exactly when he, you know, gets through. It's Mr. Zoller's social studies, all his uh, acapella singing or whatever that was, um, and uh, get straight to the point because every second counts. And, you know, some videos you might find, but you don't want the first five minutes. So rather than typing to your students, hey, start watching this video at five minutes and 20 seconds, you can actually have the video start at 5 minutes and 20 seconds. So what you're going to do, you're going to go down here to share, just like we've done in the past, and you're going to grab the embed code. Again, everything's kind of the same as you've done before. I'm going to hit Command-C to copy this. I'm going to go over to my, um, my Blended Schools course where I want to dump this. I'm just going to type this in as, as a test here just to kind of show you. Uh, you're going to go to HTML this button here just like we've done in the past and we're going to paste this. I'm going to use command V on my keyboard. Now we're just going to modify the HTML code just a bit. Uh, just a few things here about the HTML code. Uh, this tells you how wide your viewer is going to be, the height of the viewer. Um, this is the part we are interested in here. The source of the video itself. SRC stands for source, at least I think it does. Um, and then you have the actual YouTube link. What we're going to do is we're going to add uh, just a little bit of typing here. I'm going to do uh, ampersand uh, start equals. Um, and notice I'm adding that before the quote here. Now the, only, the, the trickiest part here is figuring out doing a little calculation of, of where you want to start this. Um, for me, I want to start this 13 seconds in, uh, so I'm going to put a 13 here. But let's say you wanted to start two minutes and 30 seconds in. Well, when you do this calculation, it has to be in seconds. You can't type like two minutes, uh, 30 seconds. Um, so so what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to multiply two times 60 is 120. So that's 120 seconds plus 30 seconds is 150 seconds. So I can start this at 150, uh, click update, and that'll put that video there. I'll hit submit. And then notice the player uh, starts all the way out here. Um, it does give me an option to watch the entire video, but uh, if I just hit hit play, it'll skip right to that, uh, that timestamp so that I gave it. So that's what you want to do if you want to just start the video at a specific spot. If you also want to end it at a specific spot, though, uh, again, it's very, very simple. We'll just go through the process one more time. You go here and you grab your embed code. Again, that's just Command V, same way we've been doing it. Um, I'm going to go back into my video here, just to kind of walk you through this. Uh, you, let's just say we're starting from scratch. So what you would see when you open this, would you'd see nothing. Um, we're going to hit Command V to paste what I have here. And remember to start. We'll do ampersand start equals. Let's say I want to start at uh, 325 seconds. To end it, that, and then that again, that would start me at uh, five minutes and twenty-five seconds, because uh, that would be you know three divide three twenty-five by sixty. If I want to end it, I'm going to put another ampersand, and I'm going to write end equals. And let's just do three fifty, just so you can see how this works. So uh, any you would put ampersand start, ampersand end, uh, and again that's all in seconds. You need to calculate that. Hit update, and then we're going to submit. And notice now I've got this uh, very brief little time here. It still gives me the option to watch the entire video, um, but this lets me hone in on whatever time in the video that I want to specifically uh, 
target my students with. I don't want to make sure that they watch this part. I don't need to watch the entire 15 minute video. Is I can take just a, a short splice here using just uh, some basic modifications to the HTML code.